Herman Melville once came up to me and he said, I'm writing a book called Moby Dick. Do you think it needs something? And I said, offhand, a whale. Put a whale in it. And he goes, wait, wait, wait. So in other words, I, I wrote a nice story about a guy in a boat and you're telling me a whale? And I said, yeah, put a whale in it. I said, you see, they're after one whale. And he goes, what one whale? How can they find one whale in the ocean? And I said, look, 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 trust me. They're after one. So he goes, so in, in the other words, in the entire ocean, there's one whale that they're looking for. And uh, I said, yeah, as you see, it's a one-legged sea captain who's after the whale. So he goes, how did he lose his leg? Tell me how he lost his leg. And I went, well, um, the whale bit it off. And he goes, so, okay, okay. In other words, this guy falls into the water and a whale with a mouth this big finds a little man that's that small in front of him and he just goes up and he, like, nips one leg off. He just swims around and he nibbles one leg off. He just sees the tire and nibbles it right off. And I, I said, yeah, yeah. And basically he goes, so I said, he, so in other words, this whale has a mouth the size of LaGuardia Airport. <laughs> And he sees a little man the size of a Rice Krispie. <laughs> and he just nibbles it off. He goes around, he nibbles it. The little teeth thing, nibbles it right off. He like a tiny little speck. And he decides to take one little... I guess he just wasn't that hungry that day. <laughs> Because I guess he figured he's swimming around, I'm not that hungry, I'll just take that one little leg off there. And then, how does he get back to the boat? And I said, well, he swims back. And he goes, so, oh, oh, okay, okay. So in other words, a whale rips his leg off and this guy can swim back to the boat. So he swims back with one leg and then the sailors, who don't even have a third grade education, are able to perform microsurgery on him and save his life. And I said, well, granted, there are a few ticks that could be ironed out. I, I admit that. I admit it. 